It was that first night, James, that I met an angel. That night that I walked off the 700 Club set, went to my dressing room, got in jeans and a t-shirt and drove three hours to a psychiatric hospital in Washington, D.C. And I was 34 years old. My dad died in a psych hospital when he was 34 years old. And so I really felt that this was my end. And to be honest, I wanted it to be. Have you ever been in a place where you're just like, you know what, Lord, it's too hard. This hurts too much and I feel too alone. Yeah. And when you've spent your life running from a place like that, because my thing was, I'll just work harder and I'll do more so that whatever my dad saw in me that was so horrible that he wanted to wipe out, that God would never see that. So when I finally ended up with my life hitting the wall, I'll, I'll never forget walking in, they showed me this little room. They said this, it was a single room with a, one bed and a chair and they said, this will be your home for the next month. And I didn't even get in the bed. I just took a blanket off the bed and I sat in the corner of the room. And the nurse said to me, um, you'll be on suicide watch for the first night. So someone will check on you every 15 minutes. And I thought, "Jings, this morning I was on national television. Now I'm not trusted even with my hair dryer. I mean, they take everything away. So at three o'clock in the morning, I, I heard someone come into the room, but I assumed it was the nurse checking on me. So I didn't even look up. So I'm sitting on the floor with my, kind of in a fetal position with my head on my knees. And this person walked up to me and touched me on the shoulder. And I looked up and I didn't recognize them. I assumed it was a male nurse going off and they put something in my hands. And I looked at it and it was like a, it was like a child's toy. It was a stuffed animal and it was a little lamb. And he turned and he went and when he got to the door, he turned back and he said one thing to me. He said, Sheila, the shepherd knows where to find you. And he was gone. I was there for a month and never saw him again. And I really believe that that was God telling me, you feel as if you've gone to the valley of the shadow of death, but even there, the shepherd knows where to find you.